Hi, this is a class on statistical physics for my MSc student of SEM 2. Today we will apply the canonical formalism, canonical ensemble formalism which we have studied till now. We would apply those to a system of harmonic oscillators and harmonic oscillators both in the classical as well as quantum mechanical approach. This also constitute a part of the assignment given through the University of Calcutta. Let us begin with <coughs> and later on we would apply the same canonical ensemble formalism to the statistics of paramagnetism, statistics for the phenomena of paramagnetism. So let us first begin with a system of harmonic oscillator. First of all, we would like to use a classical approach uh, and for that classical approach we have uh, a system of harmonic oscillator we can first of all let us begin with a classical approach. Classical approach. And since we are considering n harmonic oscillator, a system of n harmonic oscillator which can be applied to a system of for electromagnetic radiation consisting of n harmonic oscillator or sound wave consisting of n phonons for the radiation, electromagnetic radiation n photon system and for the sound waves, mechanical waves n phonon system. So let us try to see uh, we have a system of n harmonic one dimensional linear harmonic oscillators. So one dimensional linear harmonic oscillators which can be written in terms of so far applying the canonical ensemble formalism we need to know the Hamiltonian we can write the Hamiltonian of the system as i is equal to 1 to n pi square by 2m plus half m omega square qi square. So this is the Hamiltonian for n harmonic oscillators and we can calculate immediately the partition function, partition function for this which is given by q1, 1 single particle let, let us first of all calculate the single particle partition function so that would be equal to 1 by h times integration of e to the power minus beta h and d omega from and that can be written as equal to therefore q1 in this particular case can be written as e to the power minus beta pi square by 2m d cube okay d this is a one dimensional so d pi pi running from minus infinity to plus infinity similarly for the beta by 2 m omega square qi square d qi so both this are known integral we know that the integral e to the power minus alpha x squared dx from minus infinity to plus infinity actually gives us root over of pi by alpha. This is known to us. So we can always write this also as 1 by h and root over of pi by in case of alpha we have beta by twice m okay and for this the second part we can again have root over of pi by uh, beta m omega square by 2 so we can just multiply these two to get something like this m m would cancel out 
and uh, there would be an h by uh, 2 pi because this 2 would go so this would be 1 by h cross uh, omega and beta so this is nothing but equal to beta h cross omega to the power minus 1 so this is in one uh, 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 single particle canonical function qi for the ith particle and uh, if we want to get the uh, uh, for the collection of any independent uh, for the collection of n independent and distinguishable that is very important here we are using distinguishable particles distinguishable harmonic oscillators why distinguishable uh, distinguishable LHO linear harmonic oscillator because this linear harmonic oscillator actually corresponds to the energy levels and that's why they are distinguishable they do not correspond to the photons or the phonons which are quantum mechanically indistinguishable in this particular case since they are distinguishable so the n particle uh, partition function can be written as q1 whole to the power n so that gives us beta h cross omega whole to the power minus n immediately that gives us the corresponding Helmholtz free energy which is A is equal to minus KT ln QN okay QN so that is going to give us N K T ln Okay, you can write this as h cross omega by kt whole to the power minus n. So this would give us h cross omega by kt. So this is the value for the free energy um, h cross omega by kt. One can get the entropy which is given by minus of del a del t at constant n v so differentiating this with respect to the temperature gives us n k ln h cross omega by k t plus ok there is a minus sign so minus and there would be a minus sign n k t by h cross omega by kt into minus of h cross omega by kt square so that turns out to be uh, kt okay so and uh, we can even cancel this t and t so what we are left with is there is a minus minus plus so this would be equal to n k into 1 minus ln of h cross omega by k t or you can invert this n k 1 plus ln k t by h cross omega the <coughs> internal energy uh, is given by uh, internal energy or the mean energy is given A plus Ts so A was uh, NKT ln of H cross omega by KT and if you multiply t with s then that would be equal to nkt into 1 plus ln of kt by h cross omega 
so obviously this term and this term cancels out and the internal energy is in kt which is in conformity with what we have observed till now in thermodynamics the pressure is given by p is equal to minus of del u by del v at constant n and t which is equal to zero because it is independent of the volume and the chemical potential is given by mu chemical potential is equal to del a by del n uh, at constant vt okay so del a by del n at constant vt is nothing but equal to kt ln h cross omega by kt so <clears throat> And finally, the specific heat, specific heat uh, Cp is equal to Cv is equal to del U by del T at constant uh, N and V is equal to N of K from here. You can get this. So, the specific heats does uh, uh, obey. Uh, and something which is constant cp is equal to cv is equal to nk now this expression for the internal energy it does obey the law of equipartition of energy because if there are two degrees of freedom which is the case with the harmonic oscillator then half kt plus half kt would give you one kt and if there are n number of such harmonic oscillator then n into two into half kt is in conformity with the classical equipartition theorem so we can say that what we have learned as a classical equipartition theorem that is obeyed over here. Let us now try to do the quantum mechanical approach. So in the quantum mechanical approach the energy is given by n plus half h cross omega wherein can take value 0 1 2 and so on it is an integral number then the corresponding single particle partition function is given by q1 to be equal to summation of e to the power minus beta epsilon n which is equal to e to the power minus beta n plus half h cross omega n running from 0 to infinity if there are infinite number of modes so classically we can write this as minus of h cross minus of beta h cross omega by 2 into summation of e to the power minus beta n h cross omega which is basically a series with first term 1 because n is equal to 0 and the common ratio between the successive term is beta h cross omega so we can write this as equal to e to the power minus beta h cross omega by 2 divided by 1 minus e to the power beta h cross omega minus beta h cross omega <coughs> the common ratio being minus of beta h cross omega 
so we can write this single particle partition function as equal to e to the power beta h cross omega by 2 minus e to the power minus of beta h cross omega by 2 which is equal to 2 of sine of beta sine hyperbolic beta h cross omega by 2 so we can write this as 2 sine hyperbolic beta h cross omega by 2 whole to the power minus 1 again for n particle system partition function for n distinguishable oscillator LH of QN would be equal to 2 sine simply Q1 to the power n so sine hyperbolic beta h cross omega by 2 or to the power minus n so the thermodynamic parameters which one can so Helmholtz free energy immediately we can get Helmholtz free energy a is equal to minus kt ln q n okay so that gives us n k t ln of 2 sine hyperbolic beta h cross omega by 2 which is equal to n k t ln of e to the power beta h cross omega by 2 minus beta h cross omega by 2 so if one takes beta h cross omega by 2 common then this can be written as n k t ln beta h cross omega by 2 into 1 minus beta h cross omega and so we can write n k t ln of beta h cross omega by 2 plus ln of 1 minus e to the power beta h cross omega now ln of e is nothing but equal to beta h cross omega so one can write n k t beta h cross omega by 2 plus ln of 1 minus and uh, this can be written if you multiply kt inside kt into beta is 1 so kt beta is 1 so this can be simply written So this is the expression for the Helmholtz free energy. Now if one wants to calculate the entropy, that can also be done. We know that the entropy is negative temperature derivative of the <coughs> Helmholtz free energy. So entropy is given by S del A by del T at constant N V. So if we take the derivative of this, let's say we start with this expression. From here we take so n k into ln 2 sine hyperbolic beta h cross omega by 2 okay plus n k t and then by 
टू साइन हाइपरबॉलिक बीटा एच क्रॉस ओमेगा बाय टू इनटू टू कॉस हाइपरबॉलिक बीटा एच क्रॉस ओमेगा बाय टू इनटू एच क्रॉस ओमेगा बाय बिकॉज़ बीटा कंटेंस टेम्परेचर सो इट वुड बी माइनस ऑफ केटी स्क्वायर So this uh, K and T would cancel. There is one T, so you can write this entropy as N K. If you take N K common, then you have to take here K, and uh, you take a K. Then n k l n of uh, okay n k beta. So for the second term, we can write n k beta. And then um, h cross omega by two. These two, these two cancels out. H cross omega by t square. Okay, there is a factor of two, right? Beta h cross omega by two. Where is that two? Okay, h cross omega by two, and then. Uh, n k beta h cross omega by two fine and then in k and we have introduced a beta so a k is to be multiplied over here uh, with t so k t one by k t is beta one by k t is going to give us beta and um, uh, h cross omega by two And cot of course by sine is cot hyperbolic and this is this. So now let us try to elaborate this. We can write this expression as n k beta h cross omega by two into cos is e to the power beta h cross cos hyperbolic minus beta h cross omega by two and sine hyperbolic is e to the power beta h cross omega by two minus Good. And two two cancels out. Okay, and uh, here also we can write n k l n again as we did in our previous. Here we can do this. We can write this l n uh, of two sine hyperbolic as something like e to the power beta h cross omega by two. So e to the power beta h cross omega by two. Taken common and one minus e to the power minus of beta h cross omega. Okay, so and taking common in this particular term e to the power beta h cross omega by two, we can have one plus e to the power minus beta h cross omega and one minus e to the power minus beta h cross omega, and this as n k uh, beta h cross omega by two. And uh, minus of n k l n one minus e to the power minus beta h cross omega log of a into log of b a into b is log a plus log b. So what we can have is n k beta h cross omega by two common. Taking that common, we have this minus one. So this is going to give us two of e to the power minus beta h cross omega by one minus e to the power minus beta h cross omega. Taking into account into this, so this two cancels out, and we are left with n k l n of one minus e to the power minus beta h cross omega. So n k beta h cross omega by two. So if one takes common n k, then uh, N K if taken common, then you are left with beta h cross omega e to the power 
or you can take this beta h cross omega by 2 downwards to give e to the power beta h cross omega minus 1 okay and minus of ln of 1 minus beta h cross omega this is the expression for the entropy one can even calculate the internal energy internal energy can be calculated by using again the same expression a plus ts now for the a we have this okay nkt um, uh, nk so a is uh, n of h cross omega by 2 and ts what is ts ts is uh, okay so a is n of h cross omega by 2 plus ln of 1 minus e to the power minus beta h cross omega okay this was a and ts is simply multiply this so this is going to give as n k t so n k t into beta h cross omega by e to the power h cross omega beta minus 1 minus of ln h cross omega okay so kt multiplied by beta would give us 1 in h cross omega h cross and this term would cancel with this so what we are left with this and this term would cancel and what we are left with is n of h cross omega uh, by 2 if one takes common n of h cross omega by 2 common then for this is 1 okay and uh, for this n this kt and beta would be 1 h cross omega by 2 if that is taken n h cross omega by 2 uh, is taken so this would be equal to plus of 2 of h cross omega 2 of uh, h cross uh, beta e to the power minus beta h cross omega where is that e to the power minus beta h cross omega it should be beta h cross omega So this is the expression for the internal energy and uh, if one wants to find the value of the corresponding pressure pressure then pressure is equal to minus del u by del v at constant n t so there is no so that would be equal to zero and uh, how about the expression for the chemical potential a by n a by n would be simply divided by n so a by n mu would be equal to chemical potential mu so this is the expression for the chemical potential and uh, if we want to find the expression for the specific heat that can also be done very simple you have to take the derivative of the internal energy with respect to the temperature Cp or Cv then you can take that Cp is equal to Cv is equal to del u by del t at constant Nv and you would find that to be if you take the derivative of this particular expression with respect to temperature then you can 
always take the derivative okay so how can one take the derivative of u u is uh, a plus ts okay a was equal to uh, n k beta cot hyperbolic so you can always write this also equal to n k beta cot hyperbolic uh, n k beta h cross omega by 2 cot hyperbolic beta h cross omega by 2 So one can very easily prove from here that the value of CP, CV is in K beta H cross omega whole square e to the power beta H cross omega by e to the power beta H cross omega minus 1. Square. You you prove it by yourself. Okay. That can be very easily proved. One can do that by himself. And let me tell you that all these results would tend to the classical limit under the approximation kt much much greater than. So classical limit for all these results are kt is much much greater than h cross omega, and that more or less completes the system of harmonic oscillator under the canonical ensemble theory. Thank you.